I had a job under the table from when I got on the streets to now, because I never learned any of my, my social security and nothing like that. Like, I had to get it myself. My mom, What she, kind of job were you doing? Basically. I asked for real and rawness. I was selling coochie for my, my biological mother. Okay, she, she you say she, she came and got system, you? And she told me she would let me stay with her and ended up letting telling me to get out of her house just because I wouldn't have sex with her boyfriend. Wait, what? Yeah. You heard me right. Okay, hold on. So, all right, let's 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 back up. Let's back up. So, I always throw a little bit of comedic humor just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. But I think I took it too far with that just one. A little right? bit. I think I took it too just far. A bit. Okay, so I apologize. You're fine, okay. <laughs> now, I left the city because I got sick of being in the same city with all of my siblings and my mom and nobody helping me. Yeah, that's know? wild. So it was just. Like, I'm saying, if I asked them, what would they tell me? Like. What's the part that you're leaving out? How did it get to the point to where your mom uh, tried to get you to do her boyfriend? Okay, this was on my birthday. She had told me- So you me, were turning 19? Okay. She had told me- What's up, YouTube? I want to once again thank everybody who comes up to me in the street and shows me real love. Y'all don't even know. It keeps me thankful. It keeps my tankful. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. So we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? I'm great and yourself? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. It's like back summertime again. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of hot out here. It's hot and cold at the same <laughs> Right, time. same time, right? All right, so, um, so are you homeless? I am. Okay, and so how old are you? I'm 22. 22? Oh, man. All right, and so how long have you been homeless? Um, I've been on the streets ever since I aged out of a foster system. At what age? 18. 18, okay. And so, all right, so as far as it goes, do you have any kids? Um, currently pregnant now. You're pregnant? You're pregnant right now? Is this going to be your first? This is my first child. Oh, Lord Jesus. All right, we're going to talk about that, okay? All right, so currently pregnant. How many months, by the way? Um, in my first trimester. Okay, all right. Um, all right, and so currently pregnant. So uh, have you ever been married or anything like that? No? no. Okay. So, um, you know, some people are able to extend foster care. Some people have different options afterwards. Why is it that you kind of had to come to the streets at 18? Because my mom ended up coming to get me, and you know, she was just like. Your mom, first of all, your mom meaning your biological mom? My biological or? mother. Okay, she, she you came say and she, got me she came and, and got you? And she told me she would let me stay with her, and ended up letting, telling me to get out of her house just because I wouldn't have sex with her boyfriend. Wait, what? Yeah. You heard me right. Okay, hold on. So, all right, let's 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 back up. Let's back up. So, okay. So, how long did you stay with your mom after she came and got you? A good six months. Good six months. Okay. Um, what was y'all's relationship like prior to her coming and getting you? Um, we talked on the phone. She would always tell me she would come and visit me, and visitation days. At that point in time, I kind of figured she wasn't gonna come and see me just because you had all this time to come and see me, and now why would you come and see me? Hmm. How long had you been in foster care? Since what age? Uh, the age of four years old. She dropped me off. She dropped you off? I remember it like it was yesterday. Wait, you remember that? You wasn't yes. told that story? No. You remember it? I remember my mother. I was crying because I was trying to figure out why she dropped me. Where, where was I going when she dropped me off? Ooh. Okay. 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 So, let, all right. Let's just, let's, let's just start from the beginning, okay? <laughs> let's just start from the beginning. Listen. Where are you from? I'm from Jersey, but I'm coming from Florida. Okay, what part of Florida? Fort Myers. Fort Myers, hey man. Shout out that Fort Myers, Florida. And shout out that Jersey, man, all day. The whole tri-state area, shout it out. <laughs> uh, what age were you when we moved out south? Uh, I was like two. Two, okay. So, growing up, prior to you going to foster care, who was all in the household with you? Grandma, mom, and dad. And dad? Okay. When we moved down south, dad left. So. Ooh, do you know why he left? Yeah, he got a, a girlfriend. I'm gonna say I'm that. Tell you, man, them, them, them down south girls, man, they'll take them from them every time. Yeah. All right, down south girl and up north guy always match up. I don't know why. Hey, okay. I date, I date a down south dude. <laughs> so I understand. <laughs> All right, okay, so, so you were young when dad kind of dipped out. Did he stay active and present or? Not really. Not really, okay. You know, birthdays and holidays, he would call me happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Thanksgiving, everything like that. But other than that, I didn't really see him. 
Do, do you remember like feeling any type of way because of it? Not really, just because all of my other siblings, I, my mom, she stayed with a boyfriend. When we came down here, she stayed like, if a relationship didn't work out, she hopped at another one, so. Well, mom got that good, good, is what mom got going on? I don't on? really know, but you <laughs> know, right, mom so was in Is she a big girl like you? Yeah. Okay, okay, so we know that guys, they be loving the big girls, you know what I'm yeah. saying, so okay. All right, so, all right, um, how many siblings do you have? 16. 16, well, how many that you grew up in a household with? Seven. Seven? Where were you in the birth order? I'm the baby. You're the baby. Okay. Did, were the other siblings that you grew up in a household with, up to four, um, did they get put into the system? I'm not too sure of that. I know that now I talk to my siblings and they tell me my mom was cruel to them too, but they never had the experience to foster home, so. Huh. What, is your mom still living? Yeah. Okay, okay. She's so, in Fort Myers right she's now. She's in Fort Myers, okay. Okay, so let's talk about this. So, you remember going to the foster care system, going to being put into the system at four years old, and you were crying your eyeballs out. Oh yeah. How uh, did you feel? Like what? What? Do you remember like kind of what maybe feelings you had or whatever? Abandoned. Abandoned. Confused and Confused. lost. Yeah, man. Wow. Because <sighs> okay. I thought she was coming back. I thought like, okay, maybe this is just like somewhere I can go play or whatever with some other kids, and she gonna come and get me. She never came back. Did you ever get an explanation as to why she dropped you off? She was fed up. She was tired. Whatever she meant by that, but she said she was tired and fed up. And I asked her, why have kids if you were tired and fed up? She got quiet, changed subject. Mm. So let's take a second, right? Let's take a second. Um, How does that really make you feel? It makes me feel like she didn't really give a like, she just had a kid just to get a kid. That's about it. Just to have the feeling or just to have another, you know, boyfriend. Okay. 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 So, you went through foster care system. Um, I've heard thousands of stories on this channel, right? Um, when you were younger, did anything like ever happen to you or anything like that? Yeah. Uh, a couple of things, you know. I got with one foster family. Um, my foster sister's boyfriend ended up trying to have sex with me on Christmas. What age twice. were you then? I was 12 years old. How old were they? Or how old was, was the boyfriend? 27. 27? How old was your foster sister? Uh, she was 19. And what did, he, what did he do to try to have sex with you? What do you mean he tried to have Basically, sex with you? Basically, I was, you know, playing outside. You know, I didn't really have any many friends. So I would just sit in the living room, sit outside, chilling, playing with rocks and stuff like that. I collect sea glass and rocks and stuff like that. So I was outside playing with rocks and stuff. And he was just like, oh, come here. He started talking to me. And then he was just like, you know, I have something for you. And he was just like, well, you can't tell your sister. And I was like, what is it? He goes and pulls down his pants and tries to make me touch his dick. And I told him, I asked him, what the f is he doing? Not like, what the f Doing, but like what are you doing and he's like just go just it's my present for you it's my present and I'm like no. had you already been sexual at that point no so you was a virgin at this point yes I didn't end up having sex until I turned 17 17 okay okay so when when the sister's boyfriend tried to do that to you did you tell anybody that that I told my foster sister and my foster mother and they both told me that they didn't believe me because he wasn't that type of guy and I just ended up not telling them anything else. I was just like, I'm over it. They're not gonna believe me due to something that involves my safety. Why would I tell you anything else? Mm. Okay, and so you say more incidents happened to you when you were younger? Not younger, but more or less after I turned 18. Okay, so let's talk about it. So you say that when you turned 18, um, you went to your, your mom and came and got you out of the system, right? Um, and so when she came and got you, like, how did that make you feel? I was surprised, actually. I was like, after all these years, you decide to come back right after, right as I'm about to age out, right as they're about to help me get housing and stuff like that. It's real suspicious and weird, but all right. 
And so when you got there, though, was you like, you know, feeling good about it or whatever? You know, I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt and I enjoyed the little day that we did have where it was special. It's kind of like a but, mommy daughter day. Yeah, she got, took me to get my nails done, took me to get my toes done, bought me some outfits and stuff. And then I noticed when I got home, it was a weird vibe. Her boyfriend, he just wouldn't stop staring at me. So I knew it was weird. I knew he was weird. So I was just, I was skeptical of him. I'm not gonna lie, for the first like two, three weeks, I slept with a knife under my pillow just cause you know, I come from getting a whole bunch of bullshit happened to me. So just, so just wait, to be so, cautious. Yeah, like what else happened to you? That's what I'm saying, like. It's just the uh, sister's boyfriend, that shit head up. Okay, so, okay, so. That was traumatizing for Very you. Because you say he tried to do it twice. Yeah. In one day? So when you turned him down the first time, what did he do? How, how did he try the second time? The pool. We all got into the pool together, and he acted like he was trying to help me swim. And he ended up trying to go in my bathing suit bottoms. So. And what'd you do? I screamed for help like I was drowning, and my sister, she came rushing by. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, so so you slept with a knife under your pillow. How did it get to the point to where your mom uh, tried to get you to do her boyfriend? Okay, this was on my birthday. She had told me- So you me, were turning 19? Okay. She had told me that I had two options, to get out of her house or because her boyfriend found me attractive and I was now an adult, a legal age, to have sex with him or to get out of her house. And I was just like, that's the weirdest question a mom can ask their daughter. So at that point, I had ended up going to go live with a friend. And my mom told the friend a bullshit ass story of, that she kicked me out for me being, I guess, me being in her face or whatever. And she was, my friend was just like, oh, if your mom finds you annoying, what makes you think I wanted you to live here? So I ended up having to sleep in front of my school until I graduated. So you were still in high school at this point? Yeah. I didn't graduate till 19. So you were still in high school? I was a little and, beyond, but and she, behind and, a little bit. And she did, if I asked her, right, if I, if, if, if I, if, if, you know, this story, right, is on YouTube and she emails me or something like that. And I say, what's the deal with that, right? What is she going to tell me? I have honestly no clue. She... My sisters and them, they all asked her why you got, like, why'd you do her like that? And she has the same blank response. She always sits and looks at you like. So there's no point of no telling. What did she, she did she try to get any of your siblings to do something like that? Um, I know she kicked my sister Samantha out because she was dating a dude named, let's call him Wes. And she ended up getting, she ended up getting by this man and pregnant and having this man's kid, and she, my mom kicked her out for that reason. And that was her boyfriend? Not the same boyfriend, though. Mm. I told you, my mom moves on like she, like she changed her panties. <laughs> Wait, are you kidding me right now? I'm so serious. So her grandbaby is also her- Her ex-boyfriend's baby. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got a up family <laughs> well it sounds like mainly just mom yeah i'll be honest with you yeah um geez. don't get me wrong i got up siblings too my siblings knew what i was going through and they didn't really give a fuck. what do you mean and we're gonna limit the f-bombs if we can i'm, I'm sorry after. no it's okay it's okay I'm, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. No, yeah no it's okay it's okay i want you to keep it raw and everything but um I apologize. okay okay so because i mean you have a really soft energy right you smile a lot. Every time I see you out here on the streets, you're smiling, right? We're, we're just now getting an interview, but how does this really process? Like, how do you really feel about all this stuff? Um, honestly, I learned at a young age to stay blissful to my situation. Blissfulness to me is key. As long as I don't think about it or, you know, think about how it makes me feel, I'm in a great mood. But what happens when you just, when it, it does, when you can't help but think um, about it. That's why I got diagnosed at a young age with bi um, bipolar and depressive episodes because I would get into these moods where I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit, cry, and be by myself. And I used to self-harm. So I try not to get into those moods anymore. What age was you the last time you tried to self-harm? 21. Like last year? 
Okay, okay. I still have the spot. Yeah, see it. See it. Um, do I you have think? a mom now, so I can't do that shit. I gotta. Well, future mom. Well, a future mom, right? Yeah. We're gonna. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna let the eggs hatch before we count them. <laughs> um, but definitely wish you nothing but the best. Y'all see SJ? <laughs> hey! Oh, you're gonna make me fall. Chill, 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 chill. Ah! That's from you playing so much. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. You almost knocked me over the damn ledge. What up, SJ? What's up? Did you see the uh, baby shower that we did for Baby Divine? I didn't. You didn't see it? I was supposed to, but I didn't. Okay, yeah, you gotta check it out. It was awesome. We had a great awesome. time, so. You having a good day so far? Yeah, thank you for asking. You're welcome. What's up, fella? What's up? How's your mom doing, man? Good. She's good? All right. Go get the all right, we're gonna get back to this interview, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. Love okay. you. I don't love you. Well, you too, babe. So, your mom is still in Florida? Yes. How'd you get here to Atlanta? Um, I ended up coming, I, I left the city because. I got sick of being in the same city with all of my siblings and my mom and nobody helping me. Yeah, you know? that's wild. So it was just no, like... I'm saying if I asked them, what would they tell me? Like, what's the part that you're leaving out? No part that I'm leaving out. No? It's just, no. I pay rent. I had a job under the table from when I got on the streets to now because I never learned any of my, my social security and nothing like that. Like, I had to get it myself. My mom... What she, kind of job were you doing? Basically. I asked for real and rawness. I was selling coochie. Okay, right. And so I get it. Listen, that ain't nothing new out here. Ain't nothing new in, in humanity, okay? Um, I am going to ask you a couple questions about that, okay? Um, just, just as far as that goes. Um, when you was out there doing it, what age was the first time that you did? 19. 19? And so what was it that made you say, man, I've got to, I got to do this. Like, I don't have any other. I don't have any of my credentials. I have no way to get a job. It's like. You couldn't I get would... that from your foster parents? No. They had that stuff though, right? Yeah. But after, you know, I left them and got back, put back in the system, I went with my mom. So my mom was my last parent or legal guardian. And she wasn't trying to give me none of my credentials. So, so. she was that hateful that. Because you didn't screw her husband, I mean her boyfriend. My mom her is boyfriend. very spiteful. My mom right now. Was she gonna day, like watch y'all? I, I have no idea. But my mom to this day, right now, has a house in my name in Fort Myers. Has a whole apartment in my name. Wow. Okay. Okay. So okay. Okay. Was there any part of you that considered doing it? Like um, when she had made that offer to you or whatever? No, because I seen him more or less as, I already felt like he was a weirdo to me. So it was more or less I seen him as a threat. Like he's, he's trying to, I feel like he's trying to get at me. He's trying, he's trying to get me out of the predicament that I'm in, you know. I'm already in a house, I'm just now getting back to my mom and I can already see that, oh yeah, he's starting to act weird towards me. He's starting to get touchy-feely. This is exactly what happened when my foster sister's boyfriend got, you know, close with me. Right, right. I don't got time for this. I felt like it was coming and it was just the crazy fact that she asked me on my birthday. That she asked you on your birthday, yeah, that's wild. Christmas birthdays. It's like the holidays. All, are starting they're up. all ruined for yeah, me. Yeah, become traumatizing I'm listen, to you. Last two years, for the last three years in a row, Christmas has been ruined for me. I swear to it. I swear mm. to it. I've been I've been sexually assaulted three times in the last three years. Was that while you was working, doing yes. the work, or whatever? Okay, so a dude threw me out of his vehicle on Christmas. I ain't gonna lie, but how? I mean. <laughs> You, I mean, you weigh a good a amount. Bigger, like, no, he was a bigger dude. So he was a bigger dude. He was. Do so you have big mostly dude. bigger dudes that that mess with you or the slimmer guys? Slimmer guys. Yeah, I know. Now it's always it's slimmer, slimmer guys. guys. <laughs> it's always, Out here, it's, it's slimmer, slimmer guys. guys. It's funny as hell. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Slim guys but now love I'm a big in a relationship, girl. <laughs> so that part of my life is done. But so I do want to ask about that though. So as far as it goes, um, when you was out there doing that, right? Uh, what would be the high and what would be the low as far as how much you would charge these guys? Um, like the high, the number? Yeah, like the low, the low number and the high number. For like when I was on the street, just street walking and didn't have a room or whatever because I couldn't afford a room, it would be like, it would be quick visits. Um, hold on. What's up, man? Yes, it'd be I'm quick good, visits. Uh, would be like 
forty to fifty dollars. Right, so pretty low when you're on the street. Yeah. And then we're using the hotels how much? It'll be like a hundred, two hundred. Okay, okay. So I mean, what was it that triggered you to finally stop doing that? Uh the simple fact of now I'm in a new city where I don't know where I'm at and I hear there's a lot of like the death rate out here is crazy. So I'm not trying to be a part of that. I'm not trying okay. to be So when you got out here basically. Yeah. You switched it up. Okay. Um you said that you had been assaulted doing that before. Um how did, how do those happen? Like describe to my audience how it, it goes from being it's supposed to be a deal to do this to it ends up being sexual assault. How does that happen? Basically it, the dude is after we get what we done or whatever like that, some dudes will be like, oh, they don't want to pay. They want to pay later, but I have to see the money first before I do anything. Or the money has to be somewhere where I can get it after I'm done or I'm not going to do it. And one dude, he was just like, all right, he put it on his dash, he put it on his dashboard. The man had a gun underneath his steering wheel. Mm -hmm. So after we finished or whatever, he ended up pulling the gun. It was like, yeah, you're not grabbing that. And he was like, get the fuck out of my car. Hey. And I was like, no. He was like, matter of fact, yeah, stay. He pulls and drives somewhere. And then he does it, we, he does it again after I tell him, like, I'm good. Because, you know. Must have been good. <laughs> like, I'm sorry to make a joke. But, I mean, I'm just like, you just got done. I'm sorry. Like, that's just my twisted personality. <laughs> that's my twisted personality. I'm sorry. I don't mean to joke about that, okay? So, I, I apologize for that, okay? Um, but, I mean, that's. That's wild, right? Like, he wanted it right away, like, again? I've been kidnapped before, too, on those type of missions. A dude wouldn't let me out of his vehicle. He let, he kept me in his vehicle. So you basically try to say it is that good. <laughs> I mean, if you want to think about it like <laughs> no, that. No, I'm not. I'm just, listen, I'm, I always throw a little bit of comedic humor just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. But I think I took it too far with that just one. A little right? bit. I think I took it too just far. A bit. Okay, so I apologize. Fine, okay. <laughs> but, okay, so yeah. go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, Basically, you know, dudes will try to take it if you don't give it to them or if after you give it to them. If it's what they thought it was, they'll try to take it again. They'll try to take it. Do they get like mad because they like nutted too quick or something? Or? Yeah. Okay. Was you doing this mostly covered or uncovered? And again, we're just asking for transparency. Like covered and what do you mean covered? Condom or no condom? Covered. Okay, so always with a condom. Okay, okay. Okay, so you ended up getting a boyfriend out here? Yes. You know, always, I think people in the audience always kind of wonder. I'm on, I'm on a movie, baby. Hold on. Lord Jesus, she's having a mental thing going on. All right, so, <laughs> okay, so yeah, be careful out here. Um, anyway, I think that people, um, you know, pe people in the audience that watch this channel, they always wonder like, man, why get pregnant in the middle of this situation, you know what It I'm wasn't saying? planned. Well, obviously, Unplanned right? pregnancies are a thing. Um, condom broke and, you know, one thing led to another and here I am. Okay, okay. And so, what is your plan? Like, what's your plan to get out of this situation and get on your feet, get some stability? Um, trying to get work as we speak. Like, I got my social security coming. I got my, uh, this not my disability. I got my birth certificate coming here. How long have five, you been here in Atlanta? A month and a month? seven days. Okay, yeah, I about to say, it hasn't been that long that I've been seeing you out here, so. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying so. to get back. I'm trying to get on my feet. Okay, so, I mean, you got the whole getting my credentials thing going and all that stuff and you're gonna I'm sure you're gonna be able to get a job um, based on just the personality right I would think that I would think that almost anybody will hire you to do a little bit of anything um, and but the pregnancy thing right yeah that's gonna affect that at some point what are you gonna do like what is the plan that's what I'm saying like um, hopefully three months then, from now you may you may not be able to work you know what I'm saying I know so, so hopefully by then I'll have housing or at least be in a hotel. Well, what about your dude? Is your dude working? <laughs> Is he trying to um, get some stuff He's trying up? to get work, too. He has to get his credentials as well. Man, I'm going to get y'all, man. Y'all, boy, y'all love to get into these situations. And, I, and, and forgive me for being frank, but y'all love to get into these struggle situations. It's like, man, somebody got to be doing okay. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, all right, all right, I get it, though. I get it. All right, so, okay, so at this point, are you... What is your, like, do you still talk to mom? Like, do y'all have any type of relationship at all? You know, it's a Like, call, does she know that you're just homeless out here? Yeah. 
She called me a couple of days ago, honestly, and told me that she had a 10 person tent. Just to tell me that she had a 10 person tent. Not to tell me she was gonna mail it to me, just to tell me she had a 10 person tent. Well, maybe she was trying to see, was you gonna ask for it or whatever? I did, and she told me no. <laughs> My mom is evil sometimes. But she wow, told me no, okay. and then when it was flooding and I, like it was raining out here or whatever, I had told her about it so I could get some shelter or whatever. She told me, oh, you better go to the dollar store and get you a floaty. A floaty? It's not yo, funny. It's not that's funny. That's wild. That's, yo, your mama is diabolical. Yeah. She's like the evil character on the on show. Yeah. Like, okay, She's okay. my Cruella DeVille. That's, that's something else. All right, well, listen. So on that note, I mean, if anybody out there did want to reach out, help or donate. And it's funny you talk about a baby. We just did a baby shower, a virtual baby shower for a couple of our interviewees um, that turned out really nice. So maybe, you know, maybe six or so months from now, whatever, uh, we might be doing the same thing for you. Okay. All right, so we'll see. But if anybody out there did want to reach out, help or donate, do they have a way they can do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? I have, I have Instagram and I have cash app. Okay, what's your Insta, what's your cash app? Um, my Instagram is, it's I-T-Z-R-O-Y-A-L-T-Z, oh, world. And then it, my cash app is Life of Royalty 239. Okay, Life of Royalty 239, mm -hmm. exactly how it sounds? Yep. All right, let's make sure we got that right now, okay? All right, that's the right one, right? Yes. All right. It's well, a picture of me. You picture can't of you? It. Well, nah, because these cameras will take a clip from this video and put it up as a picture of you and have a name that's very similar. Teresa they do it all Williams. the time. Okay, Teresa okay, Williams. cool, cool, cool. All right, well, listen, like I say, Miss, we really appreciate you. And definitely wishing them for the best, okay? Thank you. Make sure you have a good one, sweetie. All right, all right.